Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very, very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will take fifth root term to the RHS first and we can write x part 10 as x square whole power 5. So I will write our equation x square minus fifth root of x power 10 will be x square whole power 5. Then we will write minus 4, 7, 6, 8. This will be equal to 8. Now we can assume let x square equal to a suppose. So our equation will become a minus fifth root of a power 5 minus 4768 equal to 8. Now I will take this minus sign into this radical. So we can write a plus fifth root of 4768 minus a power 5 equal to 8. Let me write our equation here. Here it is. Now we will use substitution. Let us say this radicant equal to b power 5. So the equation which we can write will be a plus fifth root of b power 5 equal to 8 or we can write a plus b equal to 8 as we can cancel fifth root and power 5. And this equation we will consider equation 1. Now I will use substitution. From here we can write 4768 minus a power 5 equal to b power 5 or we can write a power 5 plus b power 5 will be equal to 4768. Let's say this is our equation number 2. Now I will use one algebraic formula. It is a cube plus b cube. This is equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3 times a b times a plus b. Now a plus b was 8. So I can write here 8 cube minus 3 a b times 8. So I will write here 8 is common. So in the bracket it will be 8 is square. So I can write 64 minus 3ab. This is our equation number 3 where we have the value of a cube plus b cube. Now I will use binomial expansion. Let me write here. I will expand a plus b whole power 5. This will be equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5ab times a cube plus b cube plus 10 a square b square times a plus b. Now I will write all three known equations. Now we need to apply a plus b a power 5 plus b power 5, a plus b here and a cube plus b cube here from these three known equations. Let's apply. We will get 8 power 5 in the LHS equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 which is 4768 plus 5 times a b times 8 times 64 minus 3ab plus 10a square b square times 8. So I will write plus 80a square b square. Now equation is divisible by 8. So I will divide both sides by 8. Let us divide term by term. Here also 
will write 8 in the denominator. So 8 power 5 over 8 is 8 power 4, which is 4096. 4768 divided by 8 is 596. This 8 and 8 will be cancelled out. Here 80 over 8 will be 10. So I will write here plus 5ab in the bracket 64 minus 3ab. Then we will write plus 10a square b square. Now I will take 596 to the LHS. So we will write 4096 minus 596 will be equal to I will expand, I will write 5ab in the bracket 64 minus 3ab. Then we have 10a square b square. Now we will expand RHS. LHS will be equal to 3500. So I will write here 5 times 64 will be 320ab. 5ab times minus 3ab minus 15a square b square. Then we have 10a square b square. So I will write our equation 3500 equal to 320ab minus 15 plus 10 is minus 5a square b square. Now equation is divisible by 5. Let's divide both sides by 5. So 35 over 5 is 7. So I will write 700 here equal to 64ab minus 5 and 5 will be over. We will write a square b square. Or I can write our quadratic equation in ab as a square b square minus 64 times ab plus 700 equal to 0. Now we will use quadratic formula here. If I will write the value of a, it is 1 as per formula. Value of b, this is equal to minus 64. And value of c is 700. So I can write here the value of ab directly will be equal to minus of minus 64 plus 64 plus minus a square root of minus 64 whole square is 4096 minus 4 times 1 times 700 over 2 times 1 so I will write 2 will be equal to 64 plus minus a square root of 4096 minus 2800 divided by 2 or I can write 64 plus minus a square root of 1296 over 2. Now we know that 1296 is square of 36. So a square root of 1296 will be 36. We can write 64 plus minus 36 over 2. So with plus sign in between, we will get 100 over 2. With minus sign in between, we will get 28 over 2. So our AB is 50 and 40. Now we will write our equation number 1. AB is equal to 50 and 40. Equation 1 was a plus b equal to 8. So from here I can write b will be equal to 8 minus a. So equation will be a times 8 minus a equal to 50 and 14. So I will write two quadratic equations from here. First one would be a square minus 8a plus 50 equal to 0 and second equation would be a square minus 8a plus 14 equal to 0. 
Now, if I will check the discriminant for first quadratic equation for this equation, then I will write here b square minus 4ac. So, minus 8 a square, I will write 64 minus 4 times 1 times 50, so 200. This will come out negative 136. As our discriminant is negative, we will get our solutions complex. So, we can reject this equation as we are looking for real solutions. Now, we will solve our second quadratic equation which is written here. a square minus 8a plus 14. Let us apply quadratic formula once again. I will write the value of a will be equal to minus b. So, minus of minus 8, 8 plus minus the square root of 64 is minus 8 square minus 56 divided by 2. So, a will be equal to 8 plus minus square root 8. So, square root 8 will write 2 root 2 over 2. So, a will be equal to 4 plus minus square root 2. If you will check, both values are positive. Our substitution was x square equal to a. So, this should be positive. Condition on a was a positive. Now, we can write here x square equal to, let me write a equal to 4 plus minus square root 2. In place of a, we will write x square is equal to 4 plus minus square root 2. So, x will be equal to plus minus square root of 4 plus minus square root 2. We will write this is our final answer. We can write our answer in separate form also. Let me write here. So, x1, x2, x3, x4 are our four required real solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.